everyone, um, my name is Gina Tucker and we are here on an episode of Fixins and Friends and I have my friend Julie Freeman with Julie Freeman Photography here with me today. Welcome Julie. Hey, so I'm excited to be here. Thank you for coming to the All the Fixins store. Um, Julie is a photographer, so her workspace is all over. Um, so she came out to the shop today just to talk to us a little bit about her business and share with us um, how we can support her. Um, so just to kick things off, Julie, I guess tell us a little bit about um, how you started off in photography. Um, tell us, you know, where you're from, how, you know, a little bit about your background and what got you to this point. Well, my name is Julie. Um, I'm married to Brent Freeman, and we have three kids, Rosie, June, and Sam. Um, I guess you could say I'm from Millen since that's where I went to school, but okay. we have strong ties to Amelia County. Um, so I've, I've kind of had both feet um, mm -hmm. in the door, as you mm -hmm. can say, with both areas. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, I wish I could kind of spin you this tale about how whenever I was a kid, I knew that I wanted to be a photographer, mm -hmm. but it was quite the opposite. Um, being a photographer in any capacity was not even a footnote in my story until I was about 20. Okay. Um, yeah, and it, I always had an appreciation for photos. I remember being a little girl sitting on my grandma and granddaddy's floor and sifting through their box of photos. And you know, if I came across a picture of somebody that I didn't know, I would try to figure out what their story was based on that one picture. Mm -hmm. So the importance of a photograph, I guess you could say, was always innate. Um, or I always recognize the importance of it. Um, flash forward to whenever I was 20, um, I kind of started getting interested in photography. But I had a little Nikon cool pics point and shoot. I don't know if any of y'all remember those out there, but quickly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> realized that it was not producing the results I wanted it to produce. Mm -hmm. So was that <laughs> it, were those digital? Was that one digital? Or it was, was it a, had film. Yeah, it was a digital. Okay. Um, but it was what you call a point and shoot. So uh, like mm -hmm. no no manual settings to it whatsoever. I mean, you point and shoot. Mm -hmm. um, but anyways, I started kind of daydreaming, I guess, mm -hmm. to my husband about uh, having a, a real camera. And uh, lo and behold, on my 20th birthday, I opened a box to a Sony Alpha 230, I think was the brand. And it was baseline of the baseline DSL DSLRs. But um, I remember feeling elated. I was really yeah. excited to start practicing with it, experimenting with it. But then I was also kind of um, sore at him because uh, we were newly married and we weren't poor, we was po. So <laughs> that little um, beginner camera was our rent for the month. And I remember thinking, gosh, like he just splurged so much money. We're gonna have to work overtime to make up for this. But the best thing about my husband is that where I see an expense, he sees an investment. And I don't think that he realized he was investing in me at the time. He just wanted to make me happy. But that's kind of what happened was, cause I never would have, so what were you doing at the time at, when you were 20? Like, what kind of path were you on at that point? Like, so I was going to school. I think at that time I had just swapped over to Geechee Tech, and I thought that mm -hmm. I wanted to be a dental hygienist. Mm -hmm. I was going down the medical path because it was safe. It was secure. I knew that there was going to be a job in it no matter where I went. Mm -hmm. um, but I wasn't on God's path for me. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he's going to get you on the path he wants you to be on one way or another. Right. So. It took me a few years. Um, I got that camera in 2010 and really just spent, I think, the next two or three years just playing with it. Um, and then did you ever um, work in the dental hygiene hygienist area then? Did you, or did you just kind of? No, I, I segued out of that into mm -hmm. business management. Okay. And that's actually at that mm -hmm. point that I realized, like, I think I want to own my own business. I had no idea how to go about that, and I had no idea what I wanted to do with it because mm -hmm. photography was still kind of a footnote in my story. It was just mm -hmm. something fun I was doing. Um, but the business management courses at OTC is kind of what gave me an idea of maybe I want to be my own boss. Mm -hmm. and, um, we spent, you know, Rosie was born in 2015. 
kind of used her a little bit. I'm, I'm getting families and, you know, other babies and kids kind of, you know, photographing them. And then by 2017, I was ready to kind of take it up to the next level. I had um, a portfolio at that point. Yeah, a portfolio. I wanted, to, I wanted my pictures to, to look different. So I started investing in higher end equipment, um, tutorials, webinars, any kind of material I could get my hands on to, to, to teach me how to achieve a certain look. That's, that's what I did. And I, I almost think that I saw an instant positive result from that. But it was kind of getting to the point where I was getting off work at 5 and meeting a family at 5.30 to take their photos and then working every Saturday and Sunday. Mm -hmm. So it was busy and I felt so blessed with it, but it was busy. Mm -hmm. um, and then June, our middle child was born in 2018 and business keeps rolling and I'm still working uh, full time at the FFA Foundation. Then by the end of 2019, the opportunity, no, excuse me, the end of 2018, mm -hmm. the opportunity arose for me to pursue the business full time. And I was staunchly against it to begin with because I, I mean, just to be honest, I'm just I nervous, I'm sure. Well, I'm nervous and I, I didn't think that I was worthy of it. Mm -hmm. I didn't think that, I, you know, I, I had a million and one reasons that I gave my husband and God mm -hmm. as to why it wouldn't work. Mm -hmm. And going back to how God's going to get you on that path that mm -hmm. he wants you on, whether you like it or not, mm -hmm. um, needless to say, uh, by January of 19, I was working towards making it full time. And by February, one month later, I had announced it. Mm -hmm. And I haven't looked back ever since. It's been the best, one of the best blessings. Mm -hmm. um, one of the best blessings that our leap of faith right. went through. So. Mm -hmm. I love hearing that story. I have not actually ever heard it officially. I've watched you and followed you online <laughs> and your family, but just to hear you kind of go through that story, it's really fun to, to see how it all, and you know, with the business side, you know, you definitely have to have the business skills, you know, mm -hmm. to do this, and then, you know, your creative side was in there all along, and being able to see how that comes, comes to play. Um, so tell customers, you know, tell folks a, a little bit about how they can get in touch with you, you know, how you do booking, um, what to expect in terms of like a session. Um, you know, I know that you do families, and, but then you also do little babies and you do, you know, all in between. So um, if someone's interested in learning more about like how they book you, um, tell, tell the customer, I guess, what to expect and some of the information that you would tell a new, a new customer. Yeah, so right now you can contact me. I'm on Facebook and um, Instagram. Um, but we are also working on the website. So hopefully that will make things a little bit easier for our, our friends who don't have social media to get in contact with. Um, but in terms of what to expect in a session, it does vary based on what type of session you're looking for. Mm -hmm. um, but I'll say, like for instance, like with my families, um, I just encourage my families to just be yourself. Mm -hmm. Kids are going to be kids, especially if they're little. Um, I have three of my own, so you never have to worry about, oh gosh, my kid is acting berserk or not paying attention. Um, I, I have a method to my madness when it comes to getting those genuine reactions. Yes, you're and great with them. Yes, I don't know how you do it, but it's definitely nice that you have experience. Yeah. <laughs> so, no, what yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I just encourage my clients to just come and just be yourself because that's that's my job is to capture you authentically. You know, we're not. We, yes, you want to, you know, look your best and have on pretty clothes, but I, I'm I'm capturing so much more than that. I'm I'm not capturing a pretty picture. I want to capture you mm -hmm. in this little snippet in time that you'll never get back. Mm -hmm. So that's that's my goal whenever you come to a session with me. Very good. And so then they would just message you, and then y'all would go back and forth on kind of coordinating your time. Mm -hmm. Do you have um, pretty much any day of the week and weekends? Like, how do you set your schedule? Yeah, so the schedule, because I have three kids, yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, the schedule, it, it will kind of vary a little bit week to week. Like, you know, um, with rec ball starting up um, this month, actually. Um, the schedule might look a little different for evening times, but 
you can always just reach out and you know we'll coordinate mm -hmm. times but it's pretty much Monday through Friday mm -hmm. um, and about one to two Saturdays out of the month okay. is what I'm going for mm -hmm. Sundays I'm off that's that's family and God time. <laughs> right. mm -hmm. I'm just curious, like, how many pictures do you take in, say, a 30-minute family session, and how many do you have to, like, <laughs> send? You know what I mean? Like, that's a lot of pictures, I'm sure, that you're having to cut to yeah. make sure you get the best. Yeah. What, give us an example. Do well, you have an idea? probably, I don't know, it's kind of hard to say. Because, like, if the kids are really feeling it that day, like, I might walk away with, like, 300 plus images. Yeah. Just because I'm an overshooter, okay? <laughs> well, you'd I'd like rather to, have more. I'd rather have yeah. more than not enough. Mm -hmm. um, so it's kind of hard to say. Mm -hmm. um, but it, just know that I, I very rarely mm -hmm. uh, walk away going, this will be easy to call through. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then around how many images would you deliver to the customer? And would you like email them like a link or how does that work? So like it varies the number of images right. based on the package, mm -hmm. um, but the format's always going to be the same. Right mm -hmm. now, um, it's just digital, high resolution, fully edited, digital. But I'm also hoping to get products okay. you know, to where mm -hmm. that will hopefully make it easier for the client because we're all busy. We all have kids and lives of our own and it's hard for you to sit down and have to edit or not edit but order right. products and pictures and a lot of times you don't know what you're doing so I'm hoping I can step in and alleviate that pressure mm -hmm. off of you um, and offer products. So that'll be something new hopefully yeah. down the road. Yeah. So in products being like a print you know like it's hey I need an 8 by 10 mm -hmm. or, or I need a canvas or I'd like this on mm -hmm. you know I need this printed for the family or Yep. so you'd be able to kind of do that mm -hmm. for us. We're looking at all different kinds of products from customized USBs to uh, wood canvases, metal canvases, mm -hmm. acrylic, mm -hmm. um, all kinds of stuff. And That's so, great. yeah. We're where, where do you recommend printing photos now? Like if you were to hand me my files and pictures, you know, where do you recommend us getting them printed? So I always tell my clients, uh, go to MPIX, okay. M-P-I-X, um, they're a professional lab, um, mm -hmm. so they do a wonderful job. I've mm -hmm. used them for 10 years. Okay. I've never been disappointed in the quality. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. they're very true true to how you right. edit. Right. Yeah. Obviously, you know, it's nice to have Walmart in our back door and, you know, run over there and get one-hour photos, but you can definitely see the quality. You can see the difference you know. big time. Right. Um, so, um, Tell us a little bit. I know. Thank you for supporting all the fixins. I know you've been um, my face. <laughs> supportive from day one. Uh, what are some of the favorite things that you're, you and your family enjoy from the store? Okay. Well, the ice cream. I don't know if y'all can see it, but the ice cream mm, yeah. uh, cart back here is Rosie and Judy's favorite. Every single day after school, can we go get ice cream? I'm um, sorry. <laughs> Not today. It's One okay. Day. Sometimes I need an excuse to come too. Sure, we can get ice cream. We'll get coffee. It um, makes you so happy to see the little families outside. Oh, yeah. They will love it. Together. June's favorite is, um, she calls it the red and blue spider man. Oh, That's mm -hmm. Yeah. The one that makes the big mess. <laughs> yes. But it's okay. Yeah. And then Sam loves the donuts. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. He had his first donut at the Cotton Blossom. And he loved it. So, and then I love anything with the coffee, mm -hmm. cream cheese sandwich, uh, or if I'm here for lunch, that turkey bacon yes. cranberry mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. hits the spot every time. Oh, <laughs> what are some of the things that you guys cook, you know, for just weeknight meals or go tos just to keep them all fed and happy and not getting hungry? <laughs> well, we, June and I will pretty much eat anything, and Sam too. Rosie and Brent are a little leery. So spaghetti is usually a big go-to for us. Mm -hmm. It'll feed you for three plus days and keep you full. So we like our spaghetti. This is a two-pronged question, but what are the most challenging things about what you do and the business? Um, and then what do you feel like makes it all worth it? Even though you have to have those challenges, um, what's the most fulfilling part of what you get to do? Well, probably the most challenging would be just just being a, a small business owner, but also a parent and a spouse. Because wife and mother is going to supersede being a business owner any day. I love my clients and I love everyone who comes to me, but 
you know, the role that God gave me as wife and mother is going to supersede anything else. Mm-hmm. Um, so trying to balance the work and home life can be challenging at times. Um, but the most rewarding aspect is, you know, I have so many people that I meet and, you know, they'll say, um, hey, like, we haven't had family pictures taken in 10 years and my kids are about to go to college. We really need this. Or, you know, I have some people sometimes that want pictures with their dog who has cancer and it doesn't have long to live. You know, just, right. again, it's capturing that moment. It's freezing it for them and then being able to deliver that to them and give them something that, you know, they wouldn't have had otherwise. And that's just really special. I mean, and it's, it's a way that I, I try my best to glorify God through. Mm-hmm. It's giving them those memories that'll last. In terms of, um, you mentioned it's, you know, when you're working from home and you're definitely placing your um, responsibilities as a wife and mom above, you know, your work, which is, you know, definitely what we all need to be doing. It is definitely easier said than done. Um, With, there's always going to be messages coming in. There's always going to be editing to do, and I'm sure it could be easy to be like, "Ooh, I could get, a, I could squeeze another two or three sessions in. That's a few more, you know, dollars in my pocket." Like, how? And, and that it's it's for anyone, you know, that works um, maybe outside of the home. It, it's a struggle for sure. So, do you, what kind of boundaries do you set, or how do you like have that internal like clock to be like, "Okay, wait, are there any tips or anything that you found that helps you cut things off?" So. Uh, I've actually kind of started this last year-ish, was I I can't set hours, I can't say that from 8 to 12 I'm going to be working because... It never works out. It never works out. I mean, two of my kids are in school, but I still have a baby at the house, so you know, ultimately I'm on his timeline. But it did help me to say, okay, like to set little goals. So like, okay, I'm going to call these three sessions and then I'm going to take a break. Or I'm going to edit these two sessions and then I'm going to break. Um, because, I mean, being cooped up inside all day is not good for you physically or mentally. So, And I've learned taking little breaks and just going outside, going for a walk, or just sitting in the fresh air mm-hmm. does wonders for my productivity. Mm-hmm. So I'm able to come back in, refresh, and I can start all over. But then also just, and this was one that I really had to pray on, and it was learning how to roll with the punches because there are some days where I wake up with the best of intentions okay I'm going to get xyz done and it just doesn't work out that way so instead of beating myself up um placing my identity in my work I have to remember who I am in God Mm -hmm. and yeah okay I didn't get that done today with Julie Freeman photography but I was able to be you know wife and mother today more so than I was yesterday so it's you know it's it's a constant tug of war, mm-hmm. and it's just a balance. Mm-hmm. I and mean, you just have to find that balance. And every day is going to be different. There is no one size fits all. Right. And what you said about freedom earlier, it's like, you know, I feel like the Lord wants us to, you know, as long as we are seeking Him and trying to glorify Him in everything we do, there is that freedom. Like, we don't have to feel burdened or guilty or, you know, hey, I didn't, hey, I worked a little bit too much today, probably wasn't with the kids as much, or yeah. vice versa, you know, I didn't get as much. But there's, there should be freedom in yeah. like, hey, I'm doing the very best, you know, that I can do. So anything else that you would want to share just to make folks, make sure folks are aware about? So we have a few ideas brewing right now. Um, they're in the very early stages, so I'm not quite ready to announce exactly what it is yet. But if all goes well, y'all will be hearing about those very, very soon. So okay. stay tuned. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Well, um, will you guys reach out to Julie on her social media, um, and we'll share all of that in um, the video post that we do. Um, but reach out to her if you guys want photos taken. Um, she is absolutely wonderful. She's taken photos of our family, um, and just has been wonderful to work with. And um, it's amazing to have those treasures that you'll be able to to keep forever. So, um, Julie, thank you again for all that you do, and you're a great mom. And life and um, photographer for sure and we thank you for sharing your talents because I'm glad God worked that out for you to be able to be be where you are now to serve the community and be somebody that we can trust and, and call to make sure that our little memories get kept captured so thank you and thank y'all for all the support and business and encouragement that y'all have given me over the years it 
it, it means more to me than y'all will know. Absolutely. Well, thanks for joining us, guys. We'll see y'all next time.